Hey Cal fans, you're watching CalDB Sports Behind the Hype. It's 3 o'clock right now, so it's time for some afternoon tea with Brandon Lee. Today, I'm going to be sitting down with Michaela Cowling of the women's basketball team here at Haas Pavilion. We're going to be chatting over a nice cup of tea and some banana bread. So if you want to follow my recipe, be sure to log on to Instagram and follow me at Brandon's Baked Bites. Pinkies up. Michaela, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. So you just wrapped up the Pac-12 tournament and the NCAA tournament is going to start next week. Yep. How are you approaching it and are there any takeaways that you got from the Pac-12 experience that you can bring on to NCAA? Yeah, um, for the NCAA tournament, we're really excited. You know, you know, last year we didn't even know if we we're going to be in the tournament when we we're practicing and, and today we're able to practice and, and know we have a you know, spot. We just don't know where we're going yet, but we know we're still going to be playing. Um, you know, leaving the Pac-12 tournament, we lost to UCLA. It's a disappointing game, but you know, we played really hard and we had a, good, a lot of takeaways from that game. So, you know, we're really excited. We're happy to be here and we're just ready to play. So, Cal fans, just a little plug for the women's basketball team. They're going to have an NCAA selection show watch party this Monday, March 12th at Cornerstone on Shatta. The Bears are going to arrive at 3.30 and the show begins at 4. Y'all better be there. Okay. So after graduation, do you have any plans? Are you going to go to the WNBA, get a master's in sociology, mm -hmm. et cetera? Yeah, um, I definitely want to continue playing basketball. You know, I've been playing for a really long time. I don't want to stop now. Um, whether it be overseas or in the WNBA, you know, whatever happens, I'll, I'll be down. I'll really be blessed to have the opportunity to play anywhere. Um, as far as school-wise, I think right now I'm kind of focused on basketball, and uh, I think after you know that kind of that career kind of comes to an end, I'll, I'll pursue you know coming back to school or or whatever it may be. So right now I'm kind of focused on basketball. Now I know you come from a family, a very athletic family. Mm -hmm. Both of your parents went to Cal. Your dad, Larry, won the NCAA championship in the 110 meter hurdles mm -hmm. back in 1981. Mm. Your oldest sister, Stephanie, followed your dad's footsteps and also ran hurdles here at Cal. Your second oldest sister, Dominique, had a standout volleyball career at UC Riverside. And finally, your third oldest, oldest sister, Alex, played basketball at Loyola Marymount, yes. who's 2,219 career points, <sighs> still ranked second yeah. in the West Coast Conference. Yeah, yeah. How did your family affect your career, and what's the best advice they got? They you know, you? you know, they 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 paved the way for me. Um, I mean, I've been since I was little. I've grown up, you know, going to all their games, the track meets, the volleyball games, uh, basketball games. Was, I've been in a gym. I've been on the field, on the court, like my whole life. So I think I've just been come accustomed to, you know, being in that environment and just growing up, you know. I followed Alex mostly because she's a she's above me. So like when I when she played basketball, she was ten. I was playing when I was four. So I go to all her practices and I'd be around that a lot. Uh, I think they just inspired me to always play hard and always you know be a beast and, and be really competitive. You know they're extremely competitive people and I wanted to follow them. I wanted to be just like them. You know. So I think that just them being them, I've I've just kind of naturally just followed in their footsteps. Now I know your family travels and attends almost every single game. Mm -hmm. Uh, what does it mean to you to see them in the stands cheering you on? Yeah, it, mean, it means a lot to me, you know, having, having that support system everywhere I go, whether it be like far, far away or down the street. Um, you know, I just know that they're always going to be there. They're always on time, you know, they're always in the same spot. So it's just nice to have that, look, like, whether it be a bad game, a good game, looking over in the stands and just seeing their faces always makes me happy. And my teammates, I love seeing them too. The coaching staff loves seeing them. So, you know, they've, 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 they've dedicated a lot to me and sacrificed a lot, and I'm so grateful for them. How many games have they missed overall in your entire career? In my entire career, four years here, they've missed about three games. Three games. Three games. That is dedication. Three games. And a lot of gas. Yeah, there's <laughs> a lot. And a lot of airfares. So, airfares yeah. as well. Um, finally, uh, I've seen on social media that before and after big games, the team does a dance. Uh huh. Uh, how did this dance come about? And I think you might need to do a demonstration or teach me uh, as well uh -huh. for those watching that don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, um, it's called the stroll. Stroll. Yeah, so they, they actually had it before I got here. So when I was a freshman, I had to learn it. And uh, they, this has been like an ongoing thing for a couple of years now, I guess. So, you know, we've kind of, you know, made it a little better, modified it a little bit. But uh, since then, like, I, since I got here, it's always been a thing. And All right, Michaela, thank you so much for joining me today on Afternoon Tea with Brandon Lee. We wish you the best of luck uh, with the NCAA tournament and yeah. your future endeavors. Thank well. you for having me and thank you for this bread. This oh, is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Be sure to follow me. On <laughs> Brandon Cakebox. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, you're watching, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Behind the Hype on Cal TV Sports. I'm Brandon Lee. I'm Michaela Cowan. Go Bears. <laughs>